Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Today we're going to start talking about how to solve simultaneous equations um, using a different way called Gaussian elimination. So the first thing we want to do is try to solve it using the old way of normal elimination, which is pretty much Gaussian elimination. So if we um, multiply, sorry, let's label each equation. Let's label the first one equation one and the second one equation two. And let's go equation one multiply by three. And what that means is I multiply by three on both sides of the equal sign. So I will get six X minus nine Y equals negative 15. And if I go equation 2 multiply by 2, I will get 6x plus 4y equals 24. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, equation 1 by 3 minus equation 2 by 2. So basically the top line minus the second line. So 6x minus 6x is 0x. So we don't even have to write it. Negative 9y minus 4y is negative 13y. And negative 15 minus 24 is negative 39. Okay, so y is equal to negative 39 over negative 13, which is 3. Okay, and then what we did was we substitute y equals 3 into our original equation. So let's put that in equation 2, sub y equals 3 in equation 2. So that'll give me um, 3x plus 2 times 3 equals 12, right, because y is 3. So then this equals 3x plus 6 equals 12, and 3x equals 12 minus 6, which is 6. So 3x is equal to 6, and x is equal to th 6 divided by 3, which is 2. So y equals 3, x equals 2, and that is our final answer. So Gaussian elimination is pretty similar to that. Okay, so let's copy that down again. So we have 2x minus 3y equals negative 5. 3x plus 2y equals 12. And previously, you have learned to express this system of equations as matrices where the first matrix is the coefficient of each of the terms on the left hand side. So we call this first matrix here the coefficient matrix. And then we have the second matrix here which is X and Y. And then the third matrix here is negative, 50, negative 5 and 12. Okay, so basically what we're going to do for Gaussian elimination, by the way, um, it's, I, it's probably Gaussian instead of Gaussian, which is what I said before. But anyway, um, so if we use Gaussian elimination, the first thing we do is we write an augmented matrix. And basically for the augmented matrix, what happens is we only write the coefficient matrix and the resulting matrix and we leave out the variable matrix in the middle. So then I will get 2, negative 3, 3, 2 and I leave this out and I just put a line 
in the middle and I put negative 5 12 so why do we leave this out right because what we're about to do next we don't require the second matrix okay so what do we do now so for Gaussian elimination basically we do exactly the same thing as what we did for elimination where we get one equation multi uh, minus another equation we can get one equation we can multiply it by whatever number we want and then we take it away from another equation and the goal of Gaussian elimination is to get it down to the identity matrix on the left hand side okay so how do we do that well let's name this first row as row 1 and the second row as row 2 now if I multiply row 1 by 3 and row 2 by 2 pretty much exactly as we did here so row 1 by 3 row 2 by 2 I will get 2 times 3 is 6 negative 3 okay actually I'm going to write that down on the left row 1 by 3 so I will get um, 6 uh, minus 9 sorry mind blank and negative 15 and I have row 2 by 2 which is um, what was it 6 4 24 I'm just gonna copy it down 6 4 24 so if you remember what I did got the first row and uh, minus the second row so equation 1 times 3 minus equation 2 times 2 now the opposite would have worked as well because if I did it the opposite way it would have um, cancelled out the first term as well so I'm gonna do it the opposite way this time and so it's 2 times 2 R2 minus 3 times R1 and if I write the result into the matrix okay so um, I'm not gonna change R1 so it's still the same and 2 times R2 which is 6 minus 3 times R1 which is 6 6 minus 6 is 0 so I write the result down here as 0 and then um, 4 minus negative 9 is 4 plus 9 which is 13 and 24 minus negative 15 is 24 plus 15 which is 39 right so basically what I did was I got this row and I take this row and I write the result in row 2 again so 6 minus 6 is 0 4 minus negative 9 is 13 24 24 minus fi negative 15 is 39 okay so once I have done that you can see that um, in my first matrix this is the leading diagonal and below the leading diagonal I have only zeros and once that's done you've pretty much already done everything that's necessary to solve this equation so let's rewrite out the matrix again um, with the constant matrix in the middle or with the variable matrix in the middle and then um, we can see how we can solve it from there so if I start with using this if I multiply it out using the second matrix first so this row times this column is 39 so 0x plus 13y is 39 and we don't write 0x so you can just cross that out right so 13y is 39 and y equals 39 over 13 which is 3 
Okay, and now we have um, 6x minus 9y equals negative 15, right? Because you're multiplying out the first row in the first column and you get that result. So then we just substitute the 3 into where y is. Um, so it's 6x minus 27 is negative 15. 6x equals negative 15 plus 27, which is 12. And x is equal to 12 over 6, which is 2. Okay, so we've solved this equation after doing a bit of Gaussian elimination first. So what do we actually have to do for Gaussian elimination? So let's write down a bit of a summary. Okay, so for Gaussian elimination, you are allowed to, number one, multiply a whole row by a constant. Okay, so that's what we did over here. We multiply row one by three, and we multiply row two by two. So um, each row can be multiplied by a different constant. All right, and then you can take add or subtract one row from another All right so after we multiplied the first row by three second row by two we went the second row uh, minus the first row so that's what we did here second row minus the first row and we got this other matrix so you can do that with Gaussian elimination and then the aim is to The elements below the leading diagonal down to zero. Okay, so I have, by doing this, I got the element below the leading diagonal down to zero. And then once you have done that, we can um, write out the equations and solve it. So once you have done that, you can um, write out the equations in original form and solve for x and y, right? So because we already have a zero, um, when you write it out again, you will start from the bottom. So 0x plus 13y is 39. And then you would know what y is straight away and then solve um, from that information. Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.